Hi, my name is Mr. Chun. You're welcome to my study room. In today's study, we are using Casio FX991 ES Plus, second edition to construct frequency or statistical table in one variable. We start first by turning on our calculator. And after turning the calculator, we have to first of all go into the statistics mode. We press mode and look for statistics. And statistics is number three. So you press three to choose statistics mode. Then asking the kind of table you want to construct. Whether you want to construct a frequency table with one variable or with a linear function or with a quadratic function or with a logarithmic function and so on and so forth. But we are interested in just a table with one variable. So we'll choose one. And this one we have chosen. This is chosen for tables in which the individual values are just one, 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 one. The frequency is one for all of them. Then we can do this. But this is not mostly the case. This will be for just a few objective questions. So we'll go to the table where the frequency is more than one for some of the values. Then that one, we will not use this process. So we'll go back quickly and do that. Press AC. We are still in the statistics mode. Then you press shift mode, which now means setup because the setup is in the yellow for the shift. So all the writings in the yellow function when you press shift. So after we have setup, you press the down arrow key. Then you select statistics. That's number four. So let's select four. Then it's asking whether we should turn on frequency or we should turn off frequency. But in this case, we want frequency column to come. So we'll turn on frequency number one. Then after we turn on frequency, we go back to the old process. We press mode number three, statistics, then one variable. So you see that now we have the values and then the frequency columns. So we are going to enter values and then we see what other things we can do with this. This is a very simple question that says that find the standard deviation for the data below and the x values are integers from 1 to 10 with their respective frequencies. So we are going to enter that quickly into the calculator. We enter the numbers first, after which we enter the frequencies too. So the numbers, like I said, they are integers from 1 to 10. So we start entry. Now we are going to enter each of the X values after which we press equal to to register it. So let's start. Like we saw already in the table, the X values are integers from 1 to 10. So you have 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 equal to 5 equal to 6 equal to 7 equal to 8 equal to 9 equal to and 10 equal to to register them from 1 to 10 we can always go back and check our values whether they are all correct so let's press the down arrow key for it to go to the top any number there which the cursor is on will register down here so you can check again and see so we have one i'm using the down arrow key to verify each of them so we have one two three four so we can see that we don't have four from three it went to five it means that my four didn't register so from three here i go to it's on the five so i enter four and i press equal to and now four registered because the four is missed all the others have missed so from four i have to continue five equal to six equal to seven equal to eight equal to nine equal to and ten 
equal to because we are dealing with entering information which one is wrong it will affect all our answers so i advise that we go back and check again so you press the down arrow key the cursor will go back to the top then you check it back so we have one two like i said the numbers are registering here so you have to be checking three four five six seven eight nine and 10 so now we are good to go press down again it goes to the top then i press the right arrow key for it to count the frequency column so i'm now going to enter the respective frequencies for the respective frequencies we have two remember for each of them to be press equal to three equal to five equal to ten equal to fifteen equal to thirty equal to 25 equal to 15 equal to 10 equal to and the last one 5 then we press equal to again to register it when you finish press down arrow key for the cursor to move to the top again so you can go back and use the down arrow key to verify if all the numbers have their respective frequencies since you press equal to already for it to register you press ac the table is gone but it doesn't mean that the numbers have cleaned you are still good to go now that you've registered the table you now go ahead and find more information on the table and the information we can find on the table are the sigma f or the summation of the frequencies sigma fx which is the summation of the product of the x values and their respective frequencies then we can also find the mean we can find sigma fs squared we can find variance we can find standard deviation and so on and so forth so that's what we are going to do after pressing ac we now go to shift then one remember that is statistics that's why all the yellow writings function when you press the shift so number one is type type tells us which type of table we want to construct and i explained that earlier at the beginning of this video whether the table is with one variable two variables the table of a linear function the table of a quadratic function logarithmic function and so on and so far explain that then number two is data data is if you want to construct a new table you press number two and number two will send you to the table you already have and you just have to press ac twice to clear the element in the table and then you enter or you use the cursor any value you want to change let's say you want to go back and cross check something from the table you use the cursor to you send the cursor to wherever you want to change you enter the new number and press equal to and replaces that then the sum we'll come back to the sum but let's go to four var and enter the and see so when you enter var you can see n the n there is the summation of the frequencies which we will call the sigma f is the end so for example for our table when we press one the end comes then press equal to it gives us our sigma f or the sigma f for the table which you can verify by drawing the table and counting but like the sum of the frequencies 120 then if you want another thing we press ac or we just go to the shift one again it sends us back then we go to four we were on four so you still go to four if you want the mean you select number two so two equal to and that is 6.275 that is our mean from the table we constructed then we go back to the same place shift one for statistics then now we still go to four because you haven't finished there this particular question says we should look for the standard deviation and then number three there is standard deviation we will not come back to this again that's why i'm taking the trouble to do or oh. so number three there is standard deviation so if you want standard deviation press three then you press equal to and that is 1.923375938 to two decimal places will be 1.92 or any number of decimal places you want so that's a standard deviation from the table 
now that we have our standard deviation we now press ac or just press shift number one for statistics then now we go to the three the sum so let's enter that then see what is there so these are the information other information from the table for example if we want to calculate standard deviation we will need sigma fx over sigma f remember in this case the n is our sigma f and then number two i'll go to number two first sigma x here stand for sigma fx which is the product of each value and their respective frequencies so let's enter to equal to so the answer here is sigma fx the summation of the product of each value and its frequency and when you add all that is the sigma fx for example in this case you want standard deviation so assuming this question is a it's an essay question where you have to show working then you will need sigma fs squared you just want to confirm from your table sigma fs squared you go back to shift one for the statistics and then you go to sum which is number three then the sigma f squared stand for sigma fs squared so you press one equal to and then that is 5169 then you can substitute that remember all we are doing is just for objective question or in case you want to verify your answers you did through your calculation that you can do it but if it's essay question you need to go through one by one you need to show you're working with the formula then you can just use the table to confirm that your answers are right these are some of the things you can do with the calculator when you are constructing a frequency table this is not all you can check other few things for example we go back to the shift one then we go to number six which is mean or max so we go to six and the number one is minimum x value so if you want to know the minimum x value which you can easily tell from the table that is one you, you press number one then equal to you see that the minimum x value is one you want the maximum x value as well shift starts six then maximum so number two equal to you see that it's also 10. remember that all of these functions we are doing it in the statistics mode you must see stats on your listing here so we are doing all of this while the calculator is in the statistics mode if your calculator is in the comp mode number mode one which is for basic calculations and you are doing all of this it will not show it will not come your calculator must be in a statistics mode and your data you entered must be in it in case you want to do other basic calculation you finish with your statistics you want to do other calculation you have to come to mode one then you are now in the normal calculation mode your by the data you entered into the table is still there if you want to clear the data of the table then you have to go to shift nine equal to you want to clear memory or even set up everything if you want to clear all so you go to three equal to is yes then you press ac every information on the calculator is gone the calculator is fresh and ready to use so this is how to construct a frequency table with the casio fx 991 es plus second edition i hope this has been of help to you if yes why not consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this thank you for your time with me and i hope to meet you again in my study room bye bye